The eye was instantly caught by Pemberley House, situated on the opposite side of a valley into which the road, with some abruptness, wound. It was a large, handsome stone building, standing well on rising ground and backed by a ridge of high woody hills. Elizabeth was delighted. 200 years after the publication of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, what began as a simple love story is now a global business phenomenon. And Chatsworth House, a private estate and charity that is open to tourists, has benefited from its connection to Austen's novel. Chatsworth is believed to be the inspiration for Pemberley, the home of Mr. Darcy. Closed during the winter for maintenance, when open, it is a place of pilgrimage for the Austin faithful. Tourism is obviously incredibly important to Chatsworth because we have over 700,000 visitors every year. It's a very important part of our revenue stream. Chatsworth is also featured as Darcy's home in the 2005 film Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> We're in the Sculpture Gallery at the moment, which was used as one of the locations when Elizabeth Bennet sees Mr. Darcy's bus. Filming also is, you know, generates revenue for the house, as well as in a kind of an incentive for visitors to come, so it's, it's always good for us when we have a film. And then there are the Pride and Prejudice-themed weddings and marriage proposals. And I get mm, maybe eight calls a week from people saying, I want to be Mr. Darcy, I want to come along and I want to propose to my girlfriend, can you help me do that? Austin sold the copyright to Pride and Prejudice for £110, which was quite a bit of money at the time. It was enough to employ a servant and run a house that perhaps not in a state as grand as this one. The copyright has since expired. A work like Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen is a global multi-billion pound business because uh, nobody has to pay any royalties to the author. They can just go back to the original text and remake programs. And as a result of that, they're much cheaper to make. There are the modern day adaptations, like Bridget Jones's Diary. I think I can say with total confidence, absolutely not. Well, I'm sure he'd say the same about you, given your past behavior. There's even a Bollywood remake, Bride and Prejudice, directed by Gurinder Chadha. Jane Austen says, you know, every Every woman wants to find their Darcy, you know, but every woman doesn't want to compromise to be accepted by that Darcy. You know, everybody wants to be her own woman. It's a romantic desire that, you know, we all want. So it's the ultimate love story, I would say. A romantic dream that 200 years later is still doing the business. Erin McLaughlin, CNN, Chatsworth, United Kingdom.